This video will demonstrate how to perform a local upgrade using the Unleash browser user interface. Unleash provides two methods of upgrading the firmware, an online upgrade and a local upgrade. You'll use the online upgrade method to upgrade your Unleash network with the latest firmware available from the Ruckus Support Unleash firmware server. You'll use the local upgrade method to make it simpler to update unleashed access points using firmware files that you have downloaded from the Ruckus support site or possibly some beta software that is available for a specific new AP. An example of this method is that you may have an older AP or one that has been used for Ruckus Cloud or Smart Zone and you want to now use this AP as an unleashed AP. You may also be testing some beta code that is not yet available on the Ruckus support site. As a reminder, each Unleashed AP model has a different firmware image file that must be loaded onto the Unleashed master and then distributed to member APs model by model. So for example, if you have a mix of Unleashed R500 and R710 APs, you could upgrade all of the R500s first and then the R710s, or the other way around, but you cannot simultaneously upgrade the R500 and the R710 APs. You have to upgrade each model one at a time. Here we have a situation under the access points that one is disconnected. If I click on the access point bar, you notice that this AP says that it needs an upgrade. If I click on that AP, it'll say that the upgrade is necessary and it gives me the firmware version that I have here. If I go back to one of the other access points, you'll see that the firmware version here is 200.6.10.1.300. Back on this guy, it's 200.3.9, so you can obviously see there is a firmware mismatch. So I could click on Upgrade and do it this way, but there is another way that this could be done. So I'm going to close the access point bar. So I'm going to click on Admin and Services, and under Administer on Upgrade, we have our firmware upgrade. So there's two ways that I can do a firmware upgrade. I can do it online, and I can do it local. If it's online, you would select the firmware version, and as you can see, we're up to date here, so there's no current firmware versions that we have to do. So in this case, we're going to select the local upgrade. Now if we look at this and go to the bottom, we have a master AP, an R600, and an R500, and on the new member AP that's joined, it says that the AP firmware is mismatched with the master. So before doing this operation, I would have had to have downloaded that firmware file. Now I'm going to browse to it by clicking on Browse, and I'm going to select the R510 firmware version. Notice here that it's 200.6.10.1.300. So that's the one I want. I'm going to open it, and it is uploading. Now that the file has been uploaded, I'll go ahead and do an upgrade. And it'll go ahead and start the upgrade process. And this is going to take a while. And if you notice up here why this is going on, it says warning leaving this page will reset the local upgrade process. So you don't want to go off this page. You want to let the process complete. So what we've done is just preloaded that image. And it says the function of the preload image is to upgrade version mismatched APs only. Once the AP is connected, the upgrade button below can be clicked to upgrade it. So that's what we're doing at this point in time. Okay, now we can see that it is starting to load the image. And this is going to take a few minutes to do this as well. Now we see that the AP is rebooting. And now it shows that we have 100% success. After the rebooting is successful at 100%, the access point is going to reprovision itself and boot back up. And it'll take about another minute or two for that to happen. But now we should have the same firmware versions. So let's close this window and go back to the access points. And this was the AP that we just upgraded. So I'll click on that one. And now it says that the version is 200.6.10.1.300. And we can compare that with the other one. And that is 200.6.10.1.300 as well. So we've now just done a successful local upgrade using the Unleashed Browser User Interface. 